A 4.8 magnitude earthquake struck the New York City region on April 5, shaking buildings and surprising residents in an area that rarely experiences notable seismic activity. The quake's epicenter was in Lebanon. New Jersey, about 80 kilometers west of Manhattan, at a depth of 4.7 kilometers, the U.S. Geological Survey USGS said. It struck shortly after 10.20 a.m. local time 10.20 p.m. in Singapore. At 5.59 p.m., there was a small but noticeable aftershock which had a magnitude of 4.0, according to the USGS. The European Mediterranean Seismological Center initially measured the quake at 5. 5 magnitude on the Richter scale. The earthquake was felt across the region, including in New York City, New Jersey, northern Pennsylvania, and western Connecticut, according to Reuters journalists and social media. No major damage was reported, but New York Governor Kathy Hochul warned of the possibility of aftershocks at a news conference. Engineering teams are inspecting roads and bridges. This is one of the largest earthquakes on the East Coast in the last century, she said. New York City Mayor Eric Adams said at a news conference that no injuries had been reported but urged city residents to take cover under furniture. In a doorway or next to an interior wall if they feel any aftershocks. New Yorkers should go about their normal day, he said. Miss Sherita Walcott, a 38-year-old resident in the Bronx borough of New York, said the quake felt like a violent rumble that lasted about 30 seconds or so. It was kind of like being in a drum circle, that vibration, she added. The New York Police Department said it had no immediate reports of damage. But sirens could be heard all over the city. In Brooklyn, buildings shook, rattling cupboard doors and fixtures, a correspondent with agents Franz Preser reported. At the United Nations, which has its headquarters in New York, a Security Council meeting on the situation in Gaza was temporarily paused after the tremor. Is that an earthquake? said Save the Children representative Genti Soripto, who was speaking at the time. You're making the ground shake, Palestinian UN envoy Riyad Mansour quipped. The iconic Empire State Building reported on its ex account, I'm fine. Miss Madison Darnell, a buyer at Del Janeiro, a women's clothing boutique in Times Square, said she felt shaking in her store for about 30 seconds. It just felt like a subway was going through. She noted. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration paused flights at Newark Liberty International Airport, LaGuardia Airport, John F. Kennedy Airport and Teterboro Airport as of 11 a.m. A beeping emergency alert was sent to New Yorkers' phones at 11.02 a.m. alerting them to the earthquake and urging them to remain indoors and call 911 if injured. That was more than 35 minutes after the earthquake hit. James Pittinger, mayor of Lebanon, New Jersey, near the quake's epicenter, said there were no reports of injuries or significant damage, but that people were unnerved. I was sitting in my home office when things started to fall off the walls and shelves. Pittinger said. It was a crazy experience. President Joe Biden spoke with New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy about the earthquake, and the administration will provide assistance if needed. The White House said in a statement. New York Governor Kathy Hochul said the state had not identified any life-threatening situations but was nonetheless reviewing all vulnerable infrastructure. This is one of the largest earthquakes on the East Coast to occur in the last century, she said adding that New York was taking the review extremely seriously. A comparable earthquake struck the East Coast on August 23, 2011, that tremor, centered in Mineral, Virginia, north of the state capital of Richmond, was measured at 5.8 magnitude.
It costs 200 million US dollars, 270 million Singapore dollars, to 300 million US dollars in damages and affected landmarks like the National Cathedral and the Washington Monument. Data from the USGS showed that this latest quake is the third strongest within 400 kilometers of New York City since 1950.